Ike Avery was a well-known neighborhood hero in Amarillo, serving as vice principal at Palo Duro High School for more than two decades and a pillar in the community until his death in 2011. A local car group is honoring Avery's passion of cars and education with an upcoming car show benefiting his namesake scholarship. Tell us more about the Ike Avery Car Show. Plastic Rollers uh, started back in the late, uh, early, I should mid to late eight, uh, 90s and uh, basically started to transcend um, making kids understand that there's a better approach to life. Uh, we felt that cars was that vehicle. A lot of gentlemen that I knew, including Mr. Avery, had cars, so at that point, we decided to formulate a car club. Mr. Avery was uh, an educator uh, then and uh, was a vice, uh, vice, he was a vice president, uh, principal at uh, Palo Duro High School. Um, and he was there for more than two decades. Uh, after he passed away, we decided to start this um, scholarship in his honor uh, to um, give some deserving male or female at Palo Duro High School a scholarship in, in his name. Okay, now proceeds from the car show benefit the Ike Avery Scholarship Fund. What was Mr. Avery's impact on the community? Uh, the Ike Avery Car Show, um, we kind of had it on hold for a few years because of COVID, just like a lot of other things, of course. Um, Milford, you could probably tell a little more about when the Ike Avery started, how long ago it's been. Maybe the car club has been um, going show? on actually since the death of Mr. Avery. Yeah, and right. uh, like Joe mentioned, during COVID, we um, actually took a sabbatical yeah. like everyone else. Right. Uh, we used to partner with the, uh, was it the March? MS. M uh, muscular yeah, dystrophy. We would show. work together at that car show. Uh -huh. And uh, this year we're going to be doing it solo. And uh, we expect to have a lot of cars there. Um, vintage cars come out and um, enjoy uh, food fun and talking about old cars. Yeah, I think uh, basically being a uh, assistant principal at Palo Duro High School for more than two decades is, uh, in our opinion, a means and a method to honor his, his dedication to education. And for those who don't remember Ike Avery the name, they remember his 1960s black and white uh, Fort Fairlane mm -hmm. that he so vividly loved. Mm -hmm. And so with that, I think just the, the fact of the cars to acknowledge the fact that he was a lover of cars and his dedication to education is the thing that we want to honor um, by giving some deserving kid mm -hmm. a scholarship in his name. Okay, and where will the show be held at? We're going to have it this year at uh, First Bank Southwest on Georgia Street, and it's going to be from 10 to 3. Four, three. Yes. As far as tickets go, uh, how much are they? Tickets are $25, and uh, there's going to be some prizes and uh, plaques and... Uh, going to be a lot of fun. Now, for the people out there that may be watching this, and they may say, hey, I want to get into this car show, is it too late to enter a car into the show? Absolutely not. We encourage you guys just drive up and uh, we'll enter, your, enter your cars uh, up to and including the day of the event. Yeah. Okay, and go, kind of going off of that, what are the qualifications to enter a vehicle into it? Uh, we meet on Tuesdays, uh, second Tuesday of the month, 6 o'clock, North Branch Library, and we welcome any and all individuals to come and become a member of this uh, organization because truly it is a, not only a, a labor of love for the cars, but it is a means and a method to transcend a lot of the things that are going on in our society today. Uh, everybody can talk old cars, whether you like one thing or the other. Cars are a, a staple that uh, all, all parties can talk to. And the Classic Rollers Car Club meets on the second Tuesday of every month at 6 o'clock at the North Branch Library. For more information on this upcoming show or to enter your car, call Milford Burrell at 806-236-3232. The time is now.